good morning welcome thank you for joining me i hope everybody is well i thought i would do just a couple of days weekly days weekly no <laughs> apologies for the background noise builders um, can't, clearly can't think straight um i thought i would do just a day or a couple of, it's going to be a couple of days i think sort of day in my life chatty catch up with various things what am i doing blimey but it's nine o'clock they arrived at about ten to eight and this is the first big noise they've done i thought i'll do the intro in the lounge that'll be fine there's not any major noise and yes this happened anyway i'm having quite a quiet week this week we are away next week and uh, incidentally i got the day wrong i was absolutely convinced we were going up to bournemouth on sunday and cruising from monday but um it's actually going up to Bournemouth on Monday and the cruise starts on Tuesday, so I've got an extra day to play with, which um, threw me a bit at the beginning of this week, so I was sort of geared, at, you know, when, when you've just got it in your brain that you're going somewhere on a certain day? Anyway, I was obviously just um, completely confused. Super looking forward to that, so there might be a little bit of packing in this video. Um, I'm feeling a bit disorganised today. Um, I've, there's mess in the kitchen, there's mess in the bedroom, the table's covered in stuff that it didn't ought to be covered in. Um, nothing much happening in terms of going out or doing anything because I'm very much trying to stay in. We are being lateral flow tested before we're allowed to get onto the ship, as is right and proper. And um, uh, I obviously don't want to catch COVID. <laughs> Can you imagine how gutting it would be to get your COVID result? Sorry, you're positive. You can't go on your cruise. <laughs> that would be very upsetting, wouldn't it? Um, so, yeah, I'm just being careful. I'm not doing any social things or anything. I'm just going out when I need to. I've got the chiropractor today at 12.30. And I do need to go and drop off parcels. And I do need to pick up a couple of bits from the supermarket. But certainly haven't got anything social on the agenda before we go. So I've got this candle. Like, excuse me the mess around it i was telling you about the mess um this can which is number 10 from aldi it's the joe malone dupes and it's the red roses one and it is absolutely lovely it's only a smallish size candle but i can smell it from coming down the stairs from my bedroom all the way it's got it's permeated throughout the lounge and, and the dining room and it's really really nice so highly recommend they're only about three quid or four quid i think um so yeah, very pleased with that. There is a big lorry in my um, driveway. Actually, it's a smallish lorry. No idea what that's doing. That has something to do with the building. Any oh, it's an RSJ, I do believe. <laughs> um, right, I'm gonna go and drop off my parcels and I'm gonna come home and make a plan. For the day. It was all going so well until my computer decided to have a go slow. Right in the middle of doing something, it's uploading a YouTube video for tomorrow, my Boots 17 one, and I have a lot of links and back end stuff to do for it, so I really want it to hurry up because I've got the chiropractor at 12.30, it's now 11.24, and I wanted to get that one completely finished before um, I left the house to go to the chiropractor. Never mind, we're working with it. I really need to reboot, but I can't... Um, do anything until uh, wait 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 sorry i've got an unresponsive page um yeah i can't do anything until the video you can't reboot while a video is in the middle of uploading obviously so oh ebay so sick of seeing this it's not you it's us yes it's always blooming new ebay it always is oh i've admitted defeat with the computer and rebooted which takes a full 20 minutes generally to get everything up and running again i really must buy a new one but you know anyway i thought we'd use the time to do a couple of product updates and then i'm going to do a couple of bits of ironing that need doing um i thought i'd show you this do you remember the bedding set i got from amazon special offer cheap deal from the latest deals app this is it i put it on yesterday i have to say quality wise it's okay considering it was 13.99 it's not the softest cottoniest but it's not super thin it's quite nice fabric um it's non-creasing which is good um for a paisley pattern i, I, I quite like it 
but I definitely like plain white on my bed. I've just, um, this is my usual throw that I've got, but I've turned it the other way around because it did a grey um, pattern. Didn't go well with that, so I just turned it the other way around. But, um, yeah, I, I, I definitely prefer plain white. It's quite nice for a change, but I think with the, you know, the patterned wallpaper, excuse all the mess in my room, um, I think with the patterned wallpaper, another pa introducing another pattern is a bit much, really. Um, so I will use it occasionally for a change, but I think overall I'm happy with my plain white. But quality-wise, it's not bad for the price. So another product update was this um, Miracle Touch foundation that I also got in the from late via latest deals on Amazon. It's a solid foundation. Um, I quite like this. It's medium coverage, I would say, um, but buildable, very buildable. Um, the only thing I would say about it is I feel like I need to use quite a lot. It's got quite a big dip in it already, and I've used it less than half a dozen times. So in terms of, um, I think I only paid three pounds for it, but at full price, I feel like that might not last me super long. Can't see quite how much product is in there, but feel like maybe not loads. What does it say? 11.5 grams. That actually doesn't seem, isn't it normally 30 mils in a bottle of foundation? So I think grams is fairly equal to mils. Am I right with that? Am I right or not? Um, but yeah, nice foundation, but I felt like I needed to use a lot. Right, gonna go and do it. Oh, that was overexposed, wasn't it? Um, see if my washing's finished and do a couple of bits of iron. Oh, it's three o'clock. How is it three o'clock? I have been to the chiropractor. That went okay. Um, I managed to get, just before I had, came back from the chiropractor, finished doing the whole video that I was doing this morning. Only two to go today. Um, so that was good. Then I had some lunch, a little lunch break. Um, read some of my book. And I've done a load of laundry. I've half unloaded the dishwasher. Um, late dinner tonight because Will is unexpectedly coming home for a couple of days and won't be home till, I don't know, but this evening sometime. So I'm planning to eat about 8-ish, 8 to 8.30. Um, so I'm going to cook that later. Um, I've also got to clean Will's bathroom because Ashley has been retiling it and it's been all the stuff from Will's bathroom he put into Will's bedroom when Will went to uni in um, January and it's all still sitting there. He has actually finished tiling and he did reconnect the loo last night. He had to move the loo because the tiles he was doing were behind the loo. Um, so I've just looked at the state of that bathroom and it, it all needs cleaning really, although Will's a 22-year-old student, he probably wouldn't even notice, but, you know, I need to at least mop the floor and wipe the surfaces and so on, um, and put the stuff back into there, so I need to do that, but I also really need to get this other video edited today, because I need a really strong eBay day tomorrow, I've got a lot of listing to do tomorrow, so, um, oh, it never rains, but it pours, doesn't it? Anyway, I'm going to plough on and edit this other video now and then while that's exporting, try and get the kitchen straight, finish emptying the dishwasher, refill it, get the kitchen straight. I've just done the builder's afternoon tea, so they're okay. And the sun has come out, it's really nice now actually. It is quarter to five and the afternoon's activities go gone more smoothly than the mornings. My second video went really well edited uploaded gone live on patreon that's all good um i've done william's bathroom don't look too closely it's not hugely clean but um i've wiped all the surfaces gone over the floor um done the loo and the basins and everything and um, given the shower a good run because um hasn't been run for months because it hasn't been used so hopefully that will have just um not cleared out the drains, but you know, when drains stand for a while, they can be a bit smelly, can't they? So, yes, done that. Um, that's all good. I'm now going to just pop into town. I've got two parcels, one that needs to go to the post office and one that needs to go to a drop-off shop in town rather than my normal drop-off shop. So I think I'm going to nip down and do those now so I don't have to do them in the morning. And I can also pick up my new Kindle. I ordered a new Kindle from Amazon 
for before I go away because um, my old one, I don't know how long I've had it, I would say eight years maybe, I could probably look back at the order history on Amazon, but um, the battery life is getting shorter and shorter. As I said battery life, my battery light on this camera started flashing, no word of a lie. Um, yeah, the battery life's getting shorter and shorter and it's slow, it's getting slower and slower. So I thought, considering how much I use my Kindle, as you know, I am an avid reader, um, I would get myself a new one. And that's been delivered to Ashley's office, so getting all my parcels delivered to Ashley's office at the moment on the basis that we don't have a door currently, <laughs> or not a proper front door. So I'm going to just go and do that and then come home and... Um, I really ought to, I've got one more video that was on my list for today that goes live while I'm away. I've, I've probably said this already that I need to schedule some social media posts for and stuff. It's a sponsored video and um, I've never done um, scheduling, pre-scheduling on Instagram and I feel like I need to get my head around it and I feel like now is not a good time to be doing that so I might just leave that for tomorrow. I'll see how I feel when I get back. I'll get dinner sorted and then if I've got a bit of brain power left in me I might sit down and treat myself to a gin and tonic and um, learn about Instagram scheduling. <laughs> Haven't done much packing, have I? So I'm going to roll this vlog through to tomorrow so it'll be a longer one and um, hopefully get to some packing. I have actually done some prep and stuff, but um, not much in the way of actual packing. Right, I'm going to stop rabbiting on at you. Actually, I'm going to go and change my battery because on the way from the house to the car, I'm going to do a builder's update for today. Um, to add to my weekly building vlog. Dinner is looking good. Homemade coleslaw. These are going to be crispy sort of sauteed potatoes there. I've parboiled them and they've got some semolina and oil on it ready to go into the oven. And then a lazy peri peri chicken. This is from Aldi. Really nice. Um, a viewer told me about this one actually. Highly recommend. Very, very nice. And um, I'm just doing some onions and peppers, they've got some garlic granules, some Italian seasoning and a little bit of um, chilli in there as well, just slowly cooking those. It's going to be very tasty. Well, good morning on the dark, wet, rainy, miserable, dark again Friday. <laughs> Not a nice day for the builders to finish their week. Sorry, I've just um, had a shower and washed my hair, so I haven't done my makeup on my hair as yet this morning. <sighs> this is what the kitchen looks like after last night. The main reason it looks like this is that, A, I'm a lazy bitch. <laughs> no, um, we didn't eat till, um, I think it was about half past eight by the time we ate, so it was quite late. And then I filled the dishwasher and set it off. And the dishwasher takes two and a half hours. And, um, by the time it finished, I really did not want to empty it at all, so I thought I'd leave that for this morning, empty it, refill it, and all of that jazz. So, plans for Friday. I'm not intending to leave the house today again. Let me see if I can balance you. It's, what time is it now? 10 to 8. I've just got showered and dressed. I don't know if I'm going to be too hot in this jumper stove. I felt like it was going to be cold because it's just so miserable and dark. Um, but it's not actually feeling that cold at the moment, but perhaps when the heating goes off in an hour or so, it will um, start feeling colder or I can change my jumper. This is riveting content, isn't it? This is what you come here for. I want to talk about shampoo and conditioner. I have never used a shampoo or conditioner that I have felt makes a difference to my hair. I'm getting to the age now that I'm getting quite a lot of grey and my hair is drier than it used to be. I used to always go for volumising shampoos, conditioners and occasionally in the summer if I was on holiday or something a moisturising one. But I've never been brand loyal, I've never used one that I've thought gosh that's really good, it's made a difference to my hair. So I'm kind of looking for shampoo and conditioner recommendations. I don't want to spend a fortune, ideally. Um, definitely don't like the OGX range. Um, I talked about OGX shampoo or, and hair loss and um, c 
several people in the this was about a year or so ago several people in the comments told me that in america apparently um the ogx there was some sort of court case from people taking the makers of ogx shampoo and conditioner to court because of hair loss and it caused hair loss and weirdly once i stopped using it i stopped getting hair loss so definitely don't want to use that again um I mean, still, when I brush my hair, hair comes out, but there was a lot of hair coming out of my head when I was using that OGX shampoo. So, anyway, yes, shampoo recommendations. If you have something that you really think makes a difference to your hair, or are you more like me and you think, it just what it does, none of it really makes a difference. So, um, I have tried expensive ones in the past and um, been equally unimpressed by those, really, but, you know, um, I don't know. Um, anyway, it was lovely to see Will, lovely to have him home. He bought me a lovely gift, something he hasn't bought me for a long time, a big, massive IKEA bag full of laundry. So I think I'm going to start today by putting a wash on and, um, yeah, put a wash on and then empty the dishwasher, refill it, and then go and look at my emails and make a plan for the day. Do you ever have, do you ever have one of those days where the day gets away from you. you you couldn't say you haven't stopped but you couldn't actually list what you've done to fill the time oh my god it's 12.03 I've literally just stopped for coffee haven't even stopped for coffee I'm having coffee at my desk which Williams made me and I haven't even started on my eBay listings yet I haven't done any I've done a few parcels and then I had some that needed to go to the post office and I decided to just quickly drop them off now, hoping that I won't have any more that need to go to the post office before we go away. Um, but, oh, yes, it just it's just been a morning. I've got some of William's washing done and dried. I've got... Um, what else have I done? Oh, I did do my scheduled post for... Well, I figured out how to do Instagram scheduling and... Um, scheduled my sponsored video for next week so that was good um i still feel like i've got an awful lot to do before i go away i think i'm going to sit and drink my coffee and make a list of what i want to get done today and then possibly start a list for tomorrow because otherwise the entire day is just going to get away for, with me from me with me from me <laughs> right it's 20 past one i am feeling a little bit more organised now. Um, had a bit of a power hour and got some stuff done. Um, photographs for eBay, started listing for eBay, um, did some pre-cruise, add mini paperwork, or didn't do it actually because I can't do it till tomorrow, but put that on my list for tomorrow. Now I'm going to have some lunch and then I'm going to sort out my evening outfits for the cruise. Excited. Well, it's about four o'clock finally got my ebay listings done feel like it's been a really busy week work-wise i feel like i've spent a lot of this week at my desk anyway next week i will not be spending very much of the week at my desk none at all in fact so that's nice just got out some evening wear to try on and see what i think of it i'm not going to include trying it on in this vlog because um I'm going to do outfits of the evening while I'm away, so I'm not going to try it on for you. Because otherwise you'd see it twice, wouldn't you, if I just put it all on now. But um, I have done another little bit of packing. <laughs> when I say little, very little. Done the medical bag there, and I've done my skincare bag there. I'm also now, I've picked up a couple of bits from my hair earlier in the week, ready to do my hair care bag. And I've also chosen which eyeshadow palettes I'm taking with me, which always takes a little bit of a while, because that's something that I really enjoy doing. So my aim today is to try on dresses and other evening wear, decide what I'm going to wear for all five evenings while we're away, and um, sort that, get that sorted. And then really, I think I'm going to welcome in Friday evening, the weekend, with a stiff gin and tonic. That is my plan for the rest of the day. Right, evening outfits are sorted. There is the pile, <laughs> including shoes. <laughs> However, annoyingly, I knew I wanted a pair of black evening shoes. I didn't have a pair of black evening shoes. And I ordered a pair from Shein 
ages ago on the basis that some of their stuff comes from China and it takes quite a long time to get here. And they arrived and they were gorgeous, really, really nice, exactly what I wanted and such good value for money, like 20 pounds. Um, had this really pretty diamante buckle on the front. And um, unfortunately, they were a slingback with an elastic strap and it just kept falling off my foot. And I decided to order a size down because they were quite roomy, sent them back, um, had the money credited to my account really quickly. Real, oh, the point I was going to make was when I ordered them, they came really super quickly um, and they've been sent from the UK. Some Shein stuff comes from the UK, some comes from China. Um, so the UK stuff obviously comes really quickly and you don't know what it, whether it's coming from the UK or China when you order it, you can't say. Um, so on the basis that they arrived so quickly, I thought I'll send them back and I'll have time to order another pair once they've been refunded. So they refunded them within a few days of me sending them back. Reordered the, uh, the exact same shoes but one size down. <laughs> Bugger me, wouldn't you know it, they're coming from bloody China. <laughs> and they're not here they're due for delivery I've been tracking them and they're due for delivery between Monday and Wednesday next week which is going to be no good to me at all so for some reason I hadn't until now literally days before I go thought I better get some black evening shoes because I haven't got any so having tried on all my dresses realized that I really do need some I think I've been hoping the other pair was going to arrive but it hasn't done um, anyway, I've just ordered a pair from Next at three times the price of the ones from Shein. So that's really annoying, but they look very nice. And I can pick them up in store tomorrow, just up the road. So that's good. And I needed to order some tights as well to go with a couple of the dresses. Um, so I've done that. So that's evening outfits sorted. I think, if, oh, I've got something else to show you that got sent to me randomly. Um, hashtag gifted um i don't know if you remember i had one of these last year but this is so beautiful i love it i don't know if it's meant for easter or not it's the look fantastic beauty egg comes in this gorgeous hexagonal box and that's the egg look at the colors pink and blue and gold marbled effect it's like a tin and inside it's full 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 of beauty goodies as I said, I don't know if it's for Easter, but I was thinking this would make an amazing Mother's Day gift. Um, this is the little leaflet about it. Let me just pop the camera down and I'll show you all the goodies inside it. So it has all of these things inside it and lovely gold. Don't know what the word is for that packaging. Um, got an Elemis cleansing butter. Um, that's one I haven't tried before. I'm going to look forward to trying that. The AHA Glow Cleansing Butter. Um, Rodeo Primer, that is a gorgeous primer, really very nice indeed. A Rituals Foaming Shower Gel, a Colour Wow Bombshell Volumizer. Be giving that a go. Um, and Away, I can't read that, hair oil, I think that is. Medicate um, Peptides, Clarity Peptides, some sort of serum, that looks lovely. Um, a Wren something or other eye cream and an Eve Lom lip cream. Isn't that lovely? I think that would be a fab um, Mother's Day gift. I'll link it below um, if it's available now. But look out for it, if not, on the Look Fantastic website if you think that might be something you would like to ask for for Mother's Day. Or um, indeed... You could give your mum for Mother's Day. That is, it really is. Nice products in that. I'm impressed by it. Um, right, I think I'm going to leave this one here. I feel like I promised you a packing vlog. <laughs> you didn't really get one. Um, just got a chatty. Sometimes that happens, that's how it ends up, isn't it? You think you're going to do something and you don't quite do what you think you're going to do. But um, I'll leave this one here. Um, I don't know what order you're going to see this in, but um, I'll be back very soon with cruise vlogs. I'm going to do a vlog and outfits of the evening. Um, that's the plan anyway. And I um, hope everybody's having a lovely March. I will see you again very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.